Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Today we're taking a look at Meta Gear because they have their release date now. We know it's going to be in March, but what date is it going to be? We're going to be watching their release date trailer and talking about it. We also have a sponsored video because they do sponsoring the Watch to Earn content. So we do have $300 to give away. Five lots of 60 USDT. You know how to win it by now. Go down to the comment section below, post anything you like with the code, which will be presented at some point in this video. Go to Discord in our competition wallet section, post your wallet address and YouTube name and five lucky winners will receive 60 USDT in three days time. Today's video is sponsored by Floki Muni, a meme coin that looks to combine meme with real token utility. Floki Muni is aiming to be the next big meme coin as big as Shiba Inu. Floki Muni is not just a meme coin, it's also building a huge ecosystem that involves gaming metaverse, NFT and marketplace, DEX and Launchpad. By combining the power of memes with real utility, it aims to be one of the top 100 crypto projects. They will be having their NFT collection soon, which will be a collection of 10,000 Floki Muni NFTs. These will be stored on the Binance Smart Chain blockchain, and it's inspired by the new wealthy generation of cryptocurrency. Their NFTs will be used in the upcoming Play to Earn NFT game. Each NFT is a unique 3D artwork generated from the collection of more than 90 plus traits. They aim to build a strong NFT community and as well as the ability to use these NFTs in game, they'll also unlock many member only benefits. They've created some really good looking NFTs and they are cute as hell, right? <laughs> Look at this guy. You can join the Flow Community community today. They do have Instagram, Telegram, Twitter, and Discord. And by joining those, you do increase your opportunity to be able to mint one of these NFTs because they have whitelist spots that they're giving away. Holding the token can also give you access to Dogecoin rewards. So 3% of the transaction tax is reflected to FlowKM holders in Dogecoin. Holding it will mean that you earn passively. If you want to pick up some of the token, you can go to PancakeSwap now. Make sure that you set the slippage to 12%. All the links mentioned today will be in the description below and also the pancake swap listing with the correct contract address. Right, so here's to our sponsors of the video today. So Metagear in line with their roadmap went from their alpha, which we all got to play if you held enough gear. Then they went into beta being released to key opinion leaders. So I got a player that wasn't too different from the alpha. I didn't feel like it needed too many tweaks to it um just needed the more content adding which they've done and now we go into march which is where they stated game release web version and android so we have an official release date if, if you go to their youtube channel or twitter they have this posted on there as well so one pad and one soft these are game developers that have experience and bringing this game into the nft gaming space is huge because they have you know one of the first mobile developers that have experience coming into the nft game space that will have the game released there's very few that already have a game out and yeah i saw potential in this we're personally invested it from the private round because it's basically the robot wars of the blockchain build your robot with different chassis different wheels different weapons different gadgets and yeah i think it's gonna be really exciting fun to play so the release date for this is march the 28th 2022 so from today's release of this video, we're looking at, what, 12 days? 12 days away? Now, it's always interesting to see what impact things like this has on the marketplace, on the, the price of the tokens. So we see it being at 30, 30, 33 cents. We made some sales, only a tiny amounts up, up here. Um, we've never made any big, big buys on on metagear on on this side because obviously we're invested in the private sale um just these these purchases these buys have only been to to buy nfts so if you want to prepare yourself for this game you can go to their marketplace which is active already you can list and buy things off there for gear uh they also have it in busd and bnb depending on what it is your um which one you're purchasing uh you've got a variety of rarities now these will have an impact on the amount you win because they do come with better health having a complete set comes with better perks so if you're going for like a very basic deck i'd, I'd say make sure that you get all of the same type like all heart or all snow because they do add a, a good bonus to your your um to the your complete build for your robot um legendary being 
the highest rarity and there's the ones up there on in terms of uh, price 2000 gear is the cheapest you're going to get a legendary gadget for 2000 gear is about $600 currently at this price so 666 that's, that's not too bad but then you start when you start looking at the other ones 15000 20000 it's a lot of money so you could pick up a, a flamingo weapon or a forest gadget. I, I say I think it's good to, to pick up a whole set of the same type. Then we've got mythical. So if you don't want to invest as much as that, and I wouldn't recommend investing that much into the NFTs. I don't think this is going to have as great a pay to, play to earn element in terms of, I don't think the earnings are going to be huge in this. I think it's just going to be a, a good fun game. So I, I, I'm not sure it's the best to, um, you know, I don't think it's going to be like bomb crypto in the, the amount that it's going to give out, but it could grow a lot of popularity and that could be a lot of, that could have a lot of draw for the NFTs themselves. So I think they could hold a lot of value and that's why I personally on my account don't own gear, but own NFTs. So if we go to my inventory and my wallet, you'll see that I already have 34 items, different rarities. I've got some commons in there. I've got some rares as well. So if we go to, um, they're not, oh no, they are all showing up. They're just there. So I've got some blueprints. And uh, if we go to my wallet, you can see most of my equipment that I'll actually be using. So we have rares. So I wanted to build a forest set. So we've got a forest chassis, forest wheel, forest weapon, forest chassis. I do need a forest gadget. So, I mean, it'd be pretty cool having that mythical gadget, but I'm not sure what it does. I want to make sure that I know what I'm buying. They will all have, the, the gadgets will have different effects. So you've got to really build your, your um, pick your items off the marketplace carefully. Might be, it's a bit of a risk if you purchase these before the NFTs go live in terms of the game goes live, because if you don't know exactly what these do, you can check them out in beta. You can play through some of these uh, gadgets and see what exactly what they do. Um, Make sure you do that before because you could end up spending a lot of money on something and it just might not blend well with the rest of the items that you have. But I definitely think it's worth investing in some at the rare level and only if you want to be like the best, that's where you're probably going to be wanting to invest in the legendary mythical equipment stage. But the big news for them is that it's another win for Metagear in that they are one of the highest ROIs in 2022 from public sale so we see mv again so kishi step in block pad they've all hit 87 at highest 45 at highest um i know it's the average roi 87 45 26 and gear is around 26 so about the mid level of some of the better ones out there league of kingdoms 18 world of cryptoids Jesus, 109x currently at 12x. Um, MV Gen Genso Kishi, though, that is absolutely killed it. 40x. So it's still got a lot of room. You know, if it catches up to MV Genso Kishi, um, the all time 26, the all time high is higher than that. Um, it'd be interesting to see what it's going to do in this market we see bitcoin picking up a little bit today it'll be interesting to see but we've got a very steady up down up down up, down up down and now we're hitting it that low this is i think it went all the way down to 30 i think we're going to see some buybacks now and it might be that from this position we do actually see that similar trend of it coming down and then going back up again so there might be an opportunity to make some money um but yeah i think it's it's, it's one that i'm i'm a, I'm a little bit wary of it seeing like a pure investment into the coin, but I'm very, very bullish on buying items. I think I might make the decision to pick up some more. That forest gadget is calling out to me, $666. Tempted because it'll blend nicely with my, my chassis, which isn't the best chassis, a forest Christmas tree. It doesn't look very stable. Um, I will need to buy one more forest wheel as well. Um, but I've got my forest weapon. 
So yeah, I'm excited to get into this and we'll obviously be doing some videos on it when the game releases, covering it. Um, let me know your thoughts on it. How are you set up for it? Have you purchased anything on the marketplace? What build are you going in with? Like what rarities? And yeah, I'd be really interested to hear from you guys your thoughts on this. Apart from that, that is all for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like on the video. Always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe if you want to keep it up to date with future content. That is all for me. See you guys soon.